This is a Love Life Horoscope Terror Eating for Sagittarius from February 11th to the 25th, 2022. Let's get to it. What do we got going on for you and your love interest at the beginning of this time period? The Empress. Five of Swords. And the Lovers. Wow. There's... A bit of a power struggle dynamic coming from your person. You really like this person. You you feel like the lovers is a soulmate indicator. So you, you feel that soul tied to them. You feel a lot of attraction. But there, there's something that this person is doing that is, is making you second guess this connection. Hmm. Let's clarify this five of swords. For them, constancy. For you, notoriety. Yeah, it's it's seems like it's something scandalous in a sense. Like you're picking up on something. Like the Empress is here is that energy of someone that is kind of leans back and lets everything come to them. Doesn't push for anything. It's more or less that, that kind of going with the flow. But whatever they're doing here, however their empire is set up, like I'm getting a sense of constancy. I see all these vines. Like I'm getting a sense that you may be wondering how this person makes their money, how this person runs their kingdom, something like that. There's something second guessing here. Let's clarify this empress, this person you're dealing with. We got the knight of swords, the eight of swords, and the three of cups. This could be uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Even the empress is a Libra, Libra Taurus, but Feeling this is a uh, an air sign. Yeah, there, there's something going on behind the scenes. Like they're they're showing you, you know, whatever they're showing you is more of a front here. That there's something that that is is happening in their energy that it's almost like they they're trying to pretend it's not happening. It's something has a lot of urgency, but they're trying to play it off. Like they're trying to make everything seem like it's, it's okay. It's, it's all right. But there's a lot of movement here. Somehow they're trying to, let's clarify this Knight of Swords. We got helpfulness and progress. Like, I, I, I'm starting to see what you're seeing here. That there's something that's taking place. It doesn't look like this person is against what's, what's happening, but they're turning a blind eye. They're trying to focus their, focus everyone's attention onto something better than what's taking place here. Like, I'm not picking up anything mischievous. It's, it's more or less, It's more or less like they don't want anyone to know what they're up to. There's something definitely going on. What, what's, uh, how is this affecting you? Let's ask that. Five of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Huh. Yeah, toward it, it, it's creating a lot of conflict for you. Like, like you're very conflicted about whatever this person is is doing behind the scenes, behind their front, whatever that is. 
You're pulling away to somebody new. Like this whole situation has you feeling like you, you need to pull away. There is somebody else you're very much interested in. Someone that, that you see as having a lot more unconditional love to give. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. For them, diligence. For you, reverence. Yeah, you're, you, you see somebody else. This might be through work, but you really like what they're putting out. You respect this person a lot. So what's the deal here? Should you, should you actually put your, your focus on this new person and leave this air sign behind? Let's ask that. The moon. The star. And the two of cups. Yeah, you, you, you still like this person that you're dealing with, this air sign. Like there is something that ties you to them. You see some sort of partnership. Perhaps there was some good communication. So there is hope. There was, there's enough good in this, despite there being so much of the unknown. Like you're still, you may be wanting to leave to the other person, but you're not doing that. This, this person, what is this moon? I really want to know what they're up to. For them, Wasted time for you. Maturity. Yeah, it's it's kind of like this energy that that you you're you're gonna let certain things slide. You know, you're, you're gonna you're gonna see the good. You're gonna focus on the good with this with this old person that that we started the reading with. You're gonna wait for things to mature out of this dark space because whatever they're doing, you feel it's it's a waste of time. Like you see the hourglass. So you think that they're going to come through this moon. And that's what the cards are saying is that you should, you should still stay with this, with this first person. Don't give up so easily. The cards can only tell us what their fifth dimensional selves want us to see. And there's something that this person is trying not to see for themselves. Like they, they may be involved with, with somebody that is, I don't know. There's this energy where there's there's something that is urgent that they're dealing with that they don't want to deal with. So it, it, I feel that that is creating this space for you. Like you don't really know what this person's up to. So it's kind of it's making you want to move towards someone you do understand, but. The cards are saying, you know, that don't give up on this. There, there's enough here. There's another soulmate indicator with the star. Hmm. Is there anything you can say to this person to get them to open up about their situation? Let's ask that. Ten of Cups. The King of Pentacles. And the Strength card. This is about you being confident that everything is going to work out fine. This is, this is about you showing confidence in this connection, regardless of whatever's taking place. You're just focusing on the good. You know, sometimes that's the best thing to do. You know, instead of trying to, to push somebody, which, which makes them take a defensive role towards you, if you, if you let things be, if you kind of move with, you know, whatever they're, they're going through and look for the best in them, you'll find the best. This is putting on a brave face. Whatever this person's into, they're, 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 they're trying to close their eyes to it. They don't really want to focus. It's something that they have to finish up with whatever they're doing before that they can mature, before they can move into this connection with you. So in the meantime, it seems like you just have to be brave and just feel that there's enough 
grounding in this connection to to believe that it's going to turn into something amazing. You know, this is looking at them as your wish fulfillment, in a sense. We got, we got the star, but they are doing something behind the scenes. So you're right to to wonder. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles because it's kind of like you you the way you influence this person is by you know being so strong, being so confident with in this connection with them, not showing them that that you're moving away at all. Let's clarify this. This King of Pentacles. For them, altruism. For you, ostentation. Yeah, despite what you're seeing, you're seeing a pretentious display. Despite all that, you still, if you're, if you, if you're selfless, you'll get this person, you know, in, in their best light, in a sense. Like, they, they will come around after they're done wasting their time dealing with whatever they're dealing with. All right. In the extended, we'll look into the random generated questions. They're randomly generated by the computer. So <laughs> I just read the first one. First one is what secret came between you in the past? Like the way this random number generator thing works is unreal. But the, the questions like what secret came between you in the past? I guess we're going to dive deeper in that. Maybe there's something else to see. We'll ask, what should your next move be? We kind of went over that, but I guess we're going to do some digging. Uh, what does the universe require from you before this love interest is allowed into your life? And we'll ask, what is the love interest looking for from this connection? Good questions. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.